Welcome to the Tenant Healthcare Medical Minute. I'm Julia Yarbo. Today's topic, new concept in cardiovascular diets. And our guest joining us is Dr. Raul Agarwal, a board certified interventional cardiologist specializing in cardiovascular disease and interventional procedures. Dr. Agarwal is a member of the Tenant Florida Heart and Vascular Network, and he practices at the Heart and Vascular Institute at Palm Beach Gardens Medical Center. Dr. Argawal, thank you so much for joining us. It's my pleasure. So we hear a lot about healthy heart. What role does having a healthy diet play in having a healthy heart? It plays a tremendous role. For the last 50 years, we've been really promoting a low-fat diet. And what that really did was increase the amount of carbohydrates in our diet. And this has created various problems that we as a society are dealing with. We are seeing more diabetes, more hypertension, more obesity, more strokes, and ultimately more coronary artery disease. Initially, we thought that one gram of carbohydrates is about four calories, one gram of fat is about nine, one gram of protein is about five and a half. So there you go. If you want to reduce obesity and weight, just cut out the fats. Well, we've learned the hard way that our body actually requires a certain number and type of fat. We no longer promote any type of trans fat or partially hydrogenated fats. And we have had mixed results with saturated fat. And that is developing that, you know, the saturated fats, depending on where you get it from, is not that bad. As a matter of fact, you actually need saturated fat for the blood-brain barrier and for certain parts of the brain. And so that is still evolving, and we're seeing that it may not be as bad. The other area that has really picked up steam in the last several years is the issue of vitamins, particularly the fat-soluble vitamins. Uh, by reducing fat intake, we actually reduced our fat-soluble vitamin intake, the A, D, E, and K. They found that there was a 57% reduction in coronary artery events with vitamin K2. So where do you find vitamin K2? Grass-fed butter, Gouda cheese, brie cheese, goose liver pate, foie gras, all of these are loaded in vitamin K2. And vitamin K2 seems to have a protective effect on the vasculature. Vitamin K2 activates proteins that push calcium back into your bones and keep your arteries, your valves, and your aorta from getting calcified. What type of diet should we be eating to make sure that, that our calcium is at the right place and that our heart is healthy? Generally, the gist of this is Take a lot of vegetables, some fruit, stay away from refined carbohydrates, and actually keep a fairly good fat and protein in your diet. And you'll actually stay out of trouble. That's great advice. A lot of information, but easy to follow. Thank you so much. My pleasure. And thank you for joining us. I'm Julia Yarbo. For more information on tenant service in Florida, please visit us at tenantfloridainternational.com or call toll-free at one 855-854-4868.